Hey Music Theory community, here's another video discussing leading tone diminished seventh chords. This time I'm presenting the diminished seventh chord in another inversion. In the prior video it was in 6-5 position, and here we have it in 4-3 position. One more time to review the inversions of a seventh chord. It's root position, you'll have an Arabic number 7. First inversion, you'll have a 6-5 Arabic number. Then in second inversion, you'll be having it in 4-3, and then in final inversion, in 4-2 position. In this case, we have it in 4-3 position. Our leading tone diminished seventh chords typically happen in minor keys, and here we are with one sharp in the key of E minor. Now, the leading tone is the root of the leading tone diminished seventh chord. So we know that in minor, our leading tones are typically raised so what is the leading tone in the key of E minor? If E is 1, the leading tone has to be scale degree, students, 7. So here it is. It's got to be some sort of a D. Then we have the next note up, F sharp, since it's in the key. Then we have an A. And then we have a C. Now, we mentioned the leading tone needs to be raised. So how do you raise the leading tone in the key of E? Right now, D to E is a whole step. We need to make it a half step. So you'd include the D sharp. So here we have the structure of a leading tone diminished seventh chord in the key of E minor. E in E, D sharp to F sharp. Remember, it's in the key. So D sharp to F sharp, D sharp to F sharp is a minor third. And now from the root, from the D-sharp to the A-natural, we hear it's a diminished fifth. And then finally from the D-sharp to the C, that's your diminished seventh. So in total, all the notes together, D-sharp, F-sharp, A-natural, C-natural, fully diminished seventh chord. Now in this chord, the D-sharp is the leading tone and it must resolve up in the next chord. Now, what to do next? The seventh of the chord must resolve down. So the C must resolve to a B and the D-sharp must resolve up to the E. Now let's look at the notes in this chord. In the key of E minor, this chord is spelt how? Dominant seventh, B, D sharp, F sharp, and then students, A. So again, B, D sharp. Why am I including a D sharp? Because it's the leading tone. I need to raise the leading tone in the dominant seventh. And here's the F sharp, it's in the key, it's scale degree two. And here's the seventh of the five seven chord. The structure of a dominant seventh chord is root to third, major, root to fifth, perfect, and root to seventh, students, root to seventh, minor. Okay, let's look at this chord and voice this example now, now that we know the notes of a 7-4-3 and a 5-7, and let's see where these voice, voices need to go. An E minor chord, how do you spell it, students? E, G, B. E, G, and B. Doublings for a triad typically are double the root, preferably, or double the third. Avoid doubling the fifth of the chord. Let's voice this chord. E in the bass stem down. We can voice the B here in the tenor. We need another E and definitely a G another E, and definitely a G. What can we do, students? Here's your other E, and here's your G. Again, there are many options for voicing chords. So here is E and E, the G the third, and the B the fifth of the chord. Now we need to head off these notes smoothly into this next chord. So what is the bass note going to be? What is the bass note going to be? In this chord, we know the chord is spelled 7, 2, 4, and 6. 
but the court is now sitting in 4-3 position. So that means it's not in root position, it's not in first inversion, it's in second inversion. The base note would have to be the A. So the E needs to drop down or up to an A. Let's go down to voice the chord in more open spacing. Here's our A stem down, no more A's. Now we need a D sharp, we need the F sharp, we need the C. Where can we head off to those notes from these notes? D sharp. From the B, can we find it? From the G, can we find it? I think we can find it smoothly from the E. And remember, we need to raise the D sharp because it's the leading tone. If it were a D natural, it would be a lowered seventh and it wouldn't complete the fully diminished seventh chord. Now, we have a D sharp, we need an F sharp and a C. F sharp possibly in the soprano. And then the C best in the tenor. And notice how all the parts move smoothly by step up to the next. Now, let's remember the structure of this chord and the voice leading needs of this chord. What is the seventh of the chord? It's the C. What do we know about sevenths of chords? They have to resolve down. The C goes to a B. Is there a B in a 5-7 chord? In the key of E minor? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. The seventh must resolve down. Now, let's look at our other notes in this chord. What is the leading tone in this chord? Students, it's the D sharp. The D sharp leads up to the E in the alto. Is there an E in this chord? No, there isn't. So in this case, the D sharp cannot resolve to an E in the 5-7 chord. When that happens, you need to remain on the common tone, and the common tone is the D sharp. So you have a D sharp in this chord and a D sharp in this chord. They're both the leading tone. And then finally, we remembered that the leading tone needed to resolve up here, needs to resolve up here. And finally, students, you can resolve it here to the E. You must remember that. Leading tones resolve up. So we have our alto part completed. Why don't we complete our bass line? What is the bass note of a one chord in the key of E minor? This one's kind of easy, students. E. Stem down. What's the bass note of the 5 7 chord? B. Stem down. Now you're seeing something interesting happen here. There are two Bs in the 5 7 chord. We know that we have four individual notes, so we prefer not to double. Now we're going to get into one of those rare instances where you have to double because the bass note needs to be the dominant. And you had to have moved down to the B because the seventh of the chord has to move, resolve down. So now we're doubling up on the fifth of the chord. We have a leading tone. We must include the seventh of the chord, or else it wouldn't be a 5-7 chord. What note is the seventh of this chord? It's the A, students. Now we will be omitting one note, the F sharp. That's the only note that you can omit in a dominant seventh chord. You need to have the root of the chord to call it five. You need to have the leading tone, and you need to have the seventh of the chord. So in this case, we're omitting the fifth of the chord, and that will happen on rare occasions. Notice how if this were an actual piece of music, you could have had a passing tone connecting the F sharp to the G to the A. Okay, now what's the seventh of this chord? Not the leading tone, the seventh of the chord. Seven up from the root of the chord, which also happens to be the bass, it's in, since it's in root position. Students we see is the A. And sevenths of chords resolve down. And the leading tone resolves up. And this note, the B, it's the root of the chord. It's the dominant. What can we do with that B? Are there any common tones between a five chord and a one chord? A five chord is spelt... 5, 7, 2, 4. 
and the one chord is spelled one, three, five. There is one. Students, you can maintain the B common tone. Okay, so we have our example pretty much finished. Let's go through some playings of it. Here's our first chord. One chord. Now the next chord. Fully diminished seventh chord with the A in the bass, since it's in 4-3 position. And now that one heads up to the dominant. And the seventh is in the soprano, and it resolves down. One more time, chord one, chord two, resolves up, leading tone in the alto, okay, so one more time just to review, the seven, diminished seventh chord is a leading tone seventh chord, it's got four notes in it, and the notes are seven, two, four, and six. Six is the seventh of the chord, the seventh note above the root of the chord. Remember, the root of the chord is not in the bass because the chord is sitting in inversion, in second inversion. And in this case, it headed to a dominant seventh. We had to resolve the seventh down to the B, and that forced us to double up on the root of the chord and in this case, a rare case, omit the fifth of the chord and have the seventh the leading tone in the root. We maintained the root of the chord in the tenor since it was the common tone. Last playing, students. And to make it even smoother, we would include the passing tone if this was a piece of music. So here we go again the passing tone. Opening again. And there you have it. Thank you very much.